Today I'm going to the Salvation Army to do a little bit of sourcing on my vacation. I took a mini vacation to Florida. I've enjoyed the beach, the pool, and I can't wait to buy a few things. I can only buy a few things because it's got to fit my suitcase for when I fly back, but I can't wait to see what I can find. So I wanted to look at these bowls real quick. Nothing special about these. And then I saw these teacups. And at first I thought they were going to be Tiffany, but they were uh, Port Marion. They were still really pretty. Very similar to the Tiffany teacups I sold not that long ago. Then I was looking at this little um, Gund cup. It didn't have any price on it, so I put it down. I, I decided not to get that. But it was so cute. Then over here, I'm not sure why I didn't look at that green bowl there. Uh, but I wanted to pick up this plate because it was reticulated. It was uh, Japan. I just wasn't sure if it had enough resale value. And I really liked this Starbucks mug, but it had a big giant chip in it. Darn it. This picture was really nice. Oh, and I'm kind of regretting not getting this little dog figurine. He was adorable. It was a little basset hound. It was a bank. And this little trinket box was adorable as well. I was looking for items that I could, um, you know, flip for profit and get um, a little bit more bang for my buck. Being that I could only bring a few items back in my suitcase. Did a quick look in the mugs. I liked this one. It looked like possibly Otagiri. Um, uh, I wasn't sure on the prices. Some of these uh, weren't marked. And then there was another one. I did go back and look at the mugs. And I was like, oh, I really like this one mug. But they wanted $10 for it. <laughs> so I decided to pass on the mugs. In the clothing area, I saw this beautiful jacket. Look at the colors on that. I just love that. And the brand, I'll tell you about that later in the haul. Here's a couple of pictures of what the store looked like. Next, I found these blue cobalt mugs. They were just so pretty. That's a Starbucks one. And this one right here, I just love the look of that. These were just so pretty all together on this shelf. That one was really neat too. And then I looked down here at these ramekins. There's no prices on some of these items. Here is a shot of the cart. I did pick up those blue mugs. Oh, and a couple other items in there. Here is me at the pool. Getting the toes in the water. At the beach, Siesta Keys. It was so beautiful. This is me and my husband. My total spend at the Salvation Army was $21. I'm going to show you what I got. So this jacket, I thought it was really neat in terms of the colors. And then I saw these uh, zippers that were kind of on the side. And I'm like, oh, that's really neat. I'm like, what brand is this? And they like to put the tags right over the actual tag. So it's hard to read it, but it does say Twiggy from London. Um, I did pay up for this. It was $8.99. I am going to expect to get somewhere in the $30, the $35 range for this jacket. It's a moto style jacket. See all the zippers? So this goes like this and then that zips up like that. It's just so cool. And let's see here what's down here. And I just 
I got these all on the blue shelf. They were all together. And I'm like, oh, that is so neat. So the first thing I noticed was that this said Starbucks. I have never seen a Starbucks mug like this. So I was like, oh, I'll get that. $2.99. Um, I did not comp these out. I would think that um, I would get, you know, at least $15. Sometimes on the Starbucks you can get $20 or $25 depending on um, the style. So once I comp it out, I'll know better. But at, at a minimum, $15 for that. I was trying to um, buy at least $100 worth of things. Not spend $100, but that it was worth $100 once I resold it. That was my goal. And I'm pretty close to that. Now this one was really neat. I just love this cobalt blue. And it's got these like stripes in it. And at the very bottom, and this is going to be really hard to see. I don't know if I can get my, if it's going to, because I'm doing this on my phone. That little anchor right there is anchor hocking, and I just love it. So this is a vintage mug. It's really sizable. So again, at the minimum, $15 for that. And I paid $2.99. And then this one... Um, it had a sticker on it, but no price, and I just loved it because it says, Have a nice daisy. Life is good. I, and I just thought that was really nice, and it's a nice size. It's modern. You know, it's got the little daisy in there. It's a modern size, you know, coffee mug. But I just liked it, and I'm pretty sure that this is a good seller. Um, the Life is Good items sell through. So I bought it without comping it out. Again, you know, in that, you know, $15 range you know for that maybe it's 12 to 15 I'm not sure I'll have to comp it out and then the last item I got were these beautiful plates they are heavy duty and I just love the pattern on them isn't that pretty so they were $1.99 each and let's see if I can get it the right way on the back all right it says on there old Ivory Syracuse China. So this is restaurant wear and that's why I picked it up is it's heavy duty and people love the restaurant wear and so um, a lot of people collect restaurant wear and they use it. They use it every day. This is like usable uh, plates. Um, so I thought well these are so pretty. If somebody's trying to add to their collection I got it right here. So um, I would think I would get somewhere between you know maybe maybe eight dollars a plate for that so that's another sixteen dollars there so let's see here that's about sixty dollars plus the thirty so I'm thinking I should most likely get around ninety dollars on my twenty one dollar of spent spent money and that's my whole haul Thank you for coming along on the thrift with me and the haul right after. Thank you for watching. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and put any comments or questions down below, and I will catch you guys on the next one.